The end of 2016 saw the release of some major FPS titles, Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, all of which were competing with already established player bases for games such as Rainbow Six Siege and Overwatch. We also witnessed the birth and death of Battleborn that year, so it's understandable that for those who bought the game, and for those who can't afford games too often, they may have missed out on some of the years of the releases. Luckily for us, Hi-Rez Studios released Paladin's Champions of the Realm into open beta in September of 2016. Even luckier, they released it in a free-to-play model. I'm sure that many of you are already aware who Blizzard Entertainment are. They're responsible for some monumental series such as StarCraft and WarCraft, and their games are so streamlined that it makes them approachable to almost anybody. Because of this, they have a large audience, so when we first heard of Paladins, we immediately dismissed it as an Overwatch clone. And I can see why, as they do share similar visual aesthetics as well as gameplay mechanics, and there are some uncanny resemblances between the characters each game has to offer. But if we take a step back and look at some of the games that have come before them, such as Team Fortress 2, we can see that they aren't wholly original and that some of these ideas have already been explored in other games. Where Paladin separates itself from other hero shooters is by allowing its champions to be more dynamic. Rather than filling traditional roles of damage, tank, and healer, they're allowed some flexibility from match to match. This is made possible through Paladin's loadout system, in which each champion has a unique set of cards that alters their specific set of abilities. My personal favorite champion, and one who I believe benefits greatly from this loadout system, is Bomb King. Classified as a damage champion, Bomb King's primary attack, the Sticky Bomb, can stick to his enemies and deal massive amounts of damage. These bombs end up serving a dual purpose though, as their presence alone can deter an enemy from advancing a lane. Coupled with his Grumpy Bomb, which will stun any enemies caught in its blast radius, and Bomb King makes a good candidate for point control. This is compounded by modifying his Poppy Bomb to increase the amount of knockback it does to the enemies to send them flying away from the objective. Bomb King can also act as a flank if the need arises. By further modifying his poppy bomb to increase the amount of self knockback and modifying how much control he has while in the air, Bomb King can fly over the front line to get to that pesky Kinesa or Victor in the back. With a character like Bomb King, I couldn't help but be drawn to the dry crispness of a lager, and with as bombastic as his playstyle is, I was naturally drawn to a very hoppy beer as well. This led me to McCalibruin's California Dream a hoppy pilsner at 4.2% ABV. From what I've found, it's available in 22 ounce bottles and six packs of 12 ounce cans. It has a nice clear golden color with the iconic foamy white head of a pilsner that explodes upon pouring, but quickly settles back down. The crisp clearness of the beer allows the carbonation to be at the forefront of its visual presentation, gently flowing to the top of the glass. The aroma on this beer is very subtle and you really have to bring it to your nose to take it all in. Up front, California Dream is earthy and grassy, but underneath the hops give off a resiny pine aroma that is underlaced with a hint of malts. The beer clashes between the mellow of the malt and the bite of the hops before fading into the earthy and grassy flavors that we smelled before. The aftertaste is preceded by a bit of yeastiness before settling on the bitter of the hops. As with most lagers, there are abundant amounts of carbonation, and the body is light and has a dryness to it. To start off, let's look at the visual aesthetics of Bomb King. His default color scheme has his armor painted a vibrant blue with yellow and pink highlights and a bright orange core. These vibrant colors pair nicely with the bright golden color of California Dream, and the brighter highlights of yellow against the blue are much like the transition from the beard to its lighter, fluffier head. Bomb King's shape overall is round, as are his bombs. Though it may not be the appropriate glass, the brandy snifter I have does a fine job of replicating the appearance of Bomb King's bulbous shape. Holding the glass in my hand, I feel as though I am Bomb King gripping his sticky bombs tightly, ready to blow up another enemy. Moving on to gameplay, let's take a look at Bomb King's primary means of attack, the sticky bomb. These potent little bombs pack quite a punch and are extremely rewarding to use, especially when they give off the tick sound when they land on an enemy. The small but powerful bursts lend well to the bubbliness of the pilsner, each explosion punctuating the burst of carbonation on the tongue. Bomb King will find himself mostly keeping pressure on the main objective point, whittling down shields and health pools of tanks and picking off healers when possible, all while safely tucked away behind his own tank and healer. If all goes well, Bomb King can take his time and focus on the objective unabated. 
These moments in the game are paired nicely with the grassy and earthy aromas, which I feel are mostly calming smells, and blasting your enemies to death systematically and naturally can be surprisingly calming. While a formidable opponent when bolstered by a strong frontline, able to put the pressure on the enemy team rather easily, Bomb King becomes a cornered animal when caught out on his own. The skill required to put all of his tools to use while dueling other champions can be either rewarding or painfully demoralizing, as each bomb must be purposefully detonated within the range of your opponent. The sweet taste and maltiness of the beer poignantly highlights your much-earned victory, while the bitterness of the hops drive home your failure. Probably my favorite aspect of Bomb King, at least at the time of this footage was recorded, is modifying his poppy bomb to increase the knockback to enemy all the way up to 40%. This can result in some very satisfying eliminations when you send an enemy champion off the edge of the map. This aspect of the game is a good representation of California Dream in game form. The crispness and high carbonation is reminiscent of Poppy Bomb's pop effect, and the sweetness of the malts characteristic of your much earned victory. Watching your enemies suddenly rise from the floor and up and out of the map is just as enjoyable and beautiful as watching the bubbles rise from the bottom of your glass to settle at the head of your beer. Overall, the very explosive nature of Bomb King combined well with the crispness of the beer and the explosive bite from the abundance of hops. Looking at this aspect alone leaves the sweetness of the malts and the earthiness of the beer to contrast it, bringing respite to the frantic nature of the beer in gameplay. Even though the game is in open beta, it has been very enjoyable experience thus far, and while there may be some changes down the road that may or may not be in benefit of the game and its players, the core concepts and mechanics have evolved in a way that has made the game at least a little bit more enjoyable with each update. With competitive mode, more hardcore players can find the challenge within the game, leaving casual mode to the casuals, allowing for a diverse range of players based on skill. Considering the game is free to play, I can't help but recommend it. Though as the game evolves, the ease of acquiring new champions and abilities may eventually be locked behind a paywall. There is still enough variety in what is presented to the player up front that they should be occupied until they're able to afford new stuff via natural progression. As for California Dream, I believe it to be a very approachable beer. Being a lager, it's familiar to drinkers from the macro brews while maintaining a slow introduction to the heavier hop beers that craft beer has to offer. As for the beer enthusiast, California Dream offers a nice change of pace from the heavy-handed bitter profiles of IPAs while retaining the familiarity in its generous dose of hopping. California Dream is definitely something to keep an eye out for and I can recommend even picking up a six pack of it as it won't disappoint and is suitable for almost any occasion. The overall pairing is a particularly strong one and while there may be better ones that I have yet to discover, I don't doubt that there's a better corporeal representation of Bomb King out there somewhere. Mm -hmm.